Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, part one in a series of three, we'll demonstrate how to use the Lane Geometry Input Dialog to specify lane configuration and lane disciplines using a roundabout site as an example. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. We will continue using the roundabout site modified in the intersection and movement definitions tutorial videos. Now let's begin. Select the roundabout site in the project pane. Right-click to rename the site as Roundabout 3R and then save the project. Click the Layout command in the ribbon to view the picture of the three-leg roundabout. It is very important that you use the Lane Geometry dialog to specify lane configuration and lane discipline data immediately after the Movement Definitions dialog. Click Lane Geometry in the Site Input section to open the dialog. Click the View Display button to open the default layout display. Blue text in the top left corner of the display indicates that direct data entry is allowed in this display. As you select Approaches, Lanes, and Strip Islands on the left side of the dialog, the selected items will be highlighted in the layout picture. You can also select lanes and strip islands by clicking the layout display. The Lane Geometry dialog includes the Lane Configuration tab. Here you will find the Approach Selector, which displays the diagram of the roundabout configured in the intersection dialog. The Lane Editor, displaying the approach and exit lanes and islands for the selected leg, and the Lane Configuration Data Group. You can configure the selected lane using the parameters in the Lane Configuration Data Group. Approach lanes, exit lanes, and strip islands can be added or deleted using the command buttons below the Lane Editor. Add and delete functions are also available when you right-click a lane or a strip island in the Lane Editor or the Layout Display. Let's first create approach and exit lanes allocated to buses and taxis only. Click Approach Lane 2 of the South Leg in the Lane Editor to select it. Then, click the right arrow on the App Lane command button to add an approach lane to the right of the selected lane. In the Lane Configuration data group, keep the Lane Configuration parameter for the new lane as Full Length Lane. From the drop-down list in the Lane Type field, select Slip Bypass Low Angle. Lane Control, Lane Length, Lane Width, and Grade parameters can be modified where required. Insert a lane ID and change the color. Delete Exit Lane 2 on the south approach. Let's now add an exit lane for the buses and taxis. Select Exit Lane 2 on the east leg. Then, Click the left arrow on the Exit Lane command button to add an exit lane to the left of the selected lane. Enter the same lane ID and lane color used for the approach lane. For roundabouts, the Splitter Island object is included automatically to separate the approach and exit lanes. It cannot be deleted. We will leave the Splitter Island width unchanged in this example. Note that the Circulating Road and Central Island parameters are specified in the Roundabouts dialog. The second tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Disciplines tab. 
All Origin Destination OD Movements by Movement class are allocated to appropriate lanes here. You must allocate each movement class to at least one lane on any approach. If you click Apply or OK before allocating all OD movements to appropriate lanes, you will get a lane configuration error. Select the east leg and allocate the U-turn movement to lane 1 by checking the boxes for both light and heavy vehicles. To allocate the movement from south to east for the buses and taxis, select Approach Lane 3 of the south leg. First, uncheck the boxes for light and heavy vehicles. Then, check the boxes for buses and taxis. To allocate light and heavy vehicle movements from south to west, select Approach Lane 2 and check the relevant boxes. By default, the Lane Editor displays OD movements by all movement classes on each lane. The drop-down list, Show Lane Disciplines By, helps to check lane disciplines when different classes are allocated to different lanes. The third tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Data tab. This includes the approach lane data for all site types. When the site is a roundabout, as in this example, the additional roundabouts group will appear. Detailed information about the lane data tab can be found in the user guide. When the lane geometry specifications are completed, click OK to close the dialog. Save your project. Clicking the Process Site button at this stage will give an error message. Other necessary data specifications must be completed in the remaining input dialogs before results are obtained. This concludes Part 1 of our tutorial on the Lane Geometry Input Dialog on Roundabouts in Sidra Intersection 8. The other tutorials in this series teach how to configure the lane geometry for a two-way sign control site and a signalized intersection site. Thank you for watching.